you'd think that someone like Bill Gates, who uh, clearly started a tech, you know, started, started a technology company that's one of the, the biggest companies in the world, Microsoft, um, being, uh, you, you, you'd think he'd be really quite, um, you know, strong in the sciences. Um, but actually, my at least direct conversations with him have, um, he, he's he is not strong in the sciences. Like the kid, the, the, he, yeah, this is really sh- surprising. You know, like he, he came to visit me at the Tesla Gigafactory in, in Austin and was telling me that it's impossible to have a long range uh, semi truck. Um, and I was like, well, but we literally have them um, and you can drive them. And Pepsi is literally using them right now. And you can drive them yourself or send someone. Obviously, Bill Gates not going to drive it himself, but you can send uh, a trusted a, a person to drive the, the truck and verify that it can do the things that we say it's doing. And he's like, no, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I'm like, um, okay. I'm like kind of stuck there. Uh, uh, <laughs> then it's like, I was like, well, so it must be that um, you disagree with the watt hours per kilogram of, of the battery pack so that you're, you must think that perhaps we can't achieve the energy density of, of the battery pack or that the watt hours per mile of the truck is too high. And, and that when you combine those two numbers, the range is low. And so which one of those numbers do you think we have wrong? And what numbers do you think are correct? And he didn't know any of the numbers. And I'm like, well, then doesn't it seem that it's perhaps, um, you know, uh, premature to conclude that a uh, long range semi cannot work if you do not know the energy density of the battery pack or the energy efficiency of the, of the truck chassis? 